Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com, how to make a fish-shaped mirror. Now this wall hanging mirror uh, was made from a very inexpensive uh, mirror from the dollar store as well as a piece of scrap one by 12 that I had laying around in the garage. It is a very easy, very simple project, doesn't take long at all. Um, and you can do it in a variety of different sizes, you can do it with different style fish. I'm just going to show you the basics of, of how to cut it out, how to router the back uh, so that the mirror fits, uh, finish it. Uh, we started out with a the quote double-sided mirror from the dollar store. I think the mirror cost me a dollar ninety-nine. This is uh, the the one by twelve after it's been carved out. I'm going to show you exactly how to cut that out. The routered um, groove in the back is really just um, a depth or cut to a depth that just allows the mirror to sit in it. And I actually finished this off with some blue dye, which I mixed up myself. Blue stain, rather, which I mixed up myself. So anyway, here is the mirror. Uh, probably the hardest part of the whole, uh, the whole do-it-yourself project was getting this particular mirror out of that little um, metal frame that it comes in. So this double-sided mirror um, cost $1.99. It comes with a, a bracket you know, for some hanging or for self-standing. I, I took that off right away. And then this metal ring that goes around it, if you just use a screwdriver and a pair of uh, vice grips, you can easily separate that. Now, I did not do the best job. In fact, I cracked one of the two mirrors. Um, I'm just hoping I don't end up with seven years bad luck. The, the back mirror was absolutely perfect. So this is, that's the one that I'm going to use for this project. Now I started just by laying that mirror onto the 1x12 and just sketching roughly uh, the shape of a tropical fish. Uh, the mirror that I'm making is going to be used in a beach cabana, in the bathroom of a beach cabana. Uh, very limited wall space. Um, so I wanted something, you know, tropical, beachy, um, didn't take up too much wall space, you know, wall hanging. So anyway, this is what I came up with, a tropical fish. I just kind of freehanded uh, the design. Nothing, nothing fancy here. And again, you can do it with almost any type of fish. You could, you know, you could make a pig and make a mirror inside it. The principles and the and the, the do-it-yourself portion of this is going to be exactly the same, regardless of the shape. All right. So once the outline is done, and I, I actually went back over it uh, with a black magic marker just so that it would be a little bit easier to see on the video. Um, if I was doing this without the video, I would definitely just use a pencil. Um, I also traced the mirror, the outside diameter of the mirror. That is not the line that you're going to cut. You're actually going to draw another line that's about a quarter of an inch inside of that uh, mirror outline. Um, and don't forget, you could also get these mirrors in uh, small rectangles or small squares. Um, any. Any size and shape will work as long as you've got a piece of bit of wood big enough and you can design your fish big enough. Also take note that I drew a little fin that's going to protrude uh, into or over the mirror. That I'm not going to cut out. I'm going to leave that wood intact. That inner line is where we're going to cut. So first off, I'm going to drill just a couple of holes through the wood and that's going to allow the blade from my jigsaw uh, into that inside circle and then I'm just going to cut out that inside circle without cutting out that little fin uh, with a jigsaw. I'm doing the inside circle before I cut out the outline of the fish, the outside uh, shape of the fish, just because it's easier to work with the full board, especially when you're going to use the router. You know, so within a minute, I've got this uh, inside circle cut out. You can see that the fin is protruding into that hole. And the next step is going to be to flip this over. Now I've set the router to about a quarter inch deep. It doesn't really matter too much what size uh, it is. I have a flat bit in there, so it's just going to router away a flat surface um, about a quarter inch deep and you know somewhere three eighths half inch wide. You can see I wasn't real accurate with drawing a perfect circle uh, with the router. The only thing that matters is that if the mirror fits. 
the mirror fits, everything else is going to be hidden. It's going to be on the back side of the fish. Once the mirror fits, uh, you can finish cutting out the outside shape of the fish right with, with the jigsaw again. And at this point, you're almost done. I mean, you can, you can take this to almost any level. Uh, you could leave it like this and, and you know, drill a hole for the eye and, and paint it. Um, or you can add a little bit more detail uh, as I'm doing. What I did was I went to a uh, angle grinder and I'm using a flap sanding wheel, 36 or 40 grit, and I'm just aggressively um, sanding away and shaping the tail and the fins. So I'm making the fins a little bit thinner, um, kind of hollowing out the grooves between the tail and the fin, and I'm going to use the edge of that flap sanding wheel uh, to create some nice texture lines on that tail fin. I'm also going to use that same angle grinder to smooth the entire outside diameter or outside shape of the fish and kind of round over uh, all of the edges. It's a very nice tool. It works very quickly. Uh, you have to be a little bit careful with these coarse grid sanding, bit, uh, sanding paper uh, because it does remove a lot of material very quickly. So you just have to be a little bit careful with it. You can see some of the detail that I've added to the fin. All of that just adds character to the finished product. I then went to an oscillating sander and I'm just going to round over um, all of those uh, rougher edges from that angle grinder. I'm using an 80 grit sandpaper here and once I was done I actually uh, did go down to a 220. I wanted to get this fairly smooth. For some of the inside edges, especially in that circle in the back of the, of the fins, the inside edges of the fins, it was kind of hard to get in there with the oscillating sander. So I just used a Dremel grinder with a drum sanding wheel. And then while I had the Dremel grinder out, I put a cutoff wheel into it. And I'm going to use the cutoff wheel uh, to create the line for the fish's mouth. You can see that I drilled a hole about halfway through to form the eye. I just did that with a drill, 3 eighths drill bit. And I'm going to use the same cutoff wheel uh, to create a curved line for the fish's gills. And I'm just kind of pivoting it on my palm. That same cutoff wheel can be used to add additional detail, uh, additional lines, to each one of the fins. And again, we're really just adding texture, adding a little character, uh, you know, to the finished product. Now, I've done cutouts of fish like this for a variety of different projects. You know, I've made cutting boards out of them, I've made um, fence uh, fish or designs for exterior um, fences and walls, I've done picture frames, so that the same basic techniques uh, can be used for a variety of different do-it-yourself projects. And it doesn't take long to finish up uh, this texturing with the Dremel tool. Now at this point, you're almost done. Really, you just have to finish. Uh, you can either stain or paint these. I decided to stain it. I mixed up a little of my own uh, blue stain. And I actually did a whole separate video on mixing your own colored stain, but very simple. I started with a natural color stain, poured a little bit into this cup, and added a few drops of blue paint. And in doing so, I ended up with a nice light blue pastel uh, colored stain. And that's kind of what I wanted to, to end up with, a, a nice beachy um, decor uh, to this mirror. And then the final step is going to be add a little bit of silicone to the groove that we routed onto the back of the fish. And then I'm going to just push that mirror right into the silicone and then set it aside and let it dry completely. That silicone will really hold that mirror uh, in place nicely. And then what I did uh, to mount this is I drilled um, through the eye hole and I made one additional hole in the fin and I just used two screws to attach it to, those, uh, to this door in the cabana. And that's it, a very simple do-it-yourself uh, fish-shaped mirror, uh, perfect for beach cabanas. I hope you liked the video. If you did, uh, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Please check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. Thank you.